Hi everyone, back here again for another video. Today, let me show you again my good old trusty K380 keyboard. But for this video, I borrowed again my friend's pink K380 and the Pebble Mouse. And instead of using it with my iPad, let's have a look at using this with the Windows laptop. If you've been here on my channel, you will know I am an iPad only user, but that is for personal stuff and my YouTube work. But at my professional work, I have no choice but to use my Dell XPS Windows laptop. So let's connect this K380 keyboard and the Pebble mouse first. And for those who are new at using the K380, this connects by Bluetooth if you don't know yet and there are no USB dongles here. On the other hand, the Pebble Mouse can be connected by the USB dongle that's here inside and hidden in the mouse, but it can also be connected by Bluetooth. To connect, go to the Bluetooth settings in the laptop and click on Add Device and on this Logitech devices for the K380, press and hold on one of these switches. Then it should start blinking and on the Windows laptop, the name should pop up on the screen. Select it and it will ask if I want to pair, which of course I want to. So I'll enter the code that is showing on the screen and type it on the keyboard and hit enter. And now it's connected. And to connect the Pebble Mouse, hold on to the pairing button that's here at the bottom of the mouse. And it should be popping up the name on the screen again and select it and that's it, it's done. So far from using a K380 for more than four years, I have had not any connection issues. It has been stable, whether it's my old blue one or this pink one. The typing response is really good, while the scrolling and the clicking of the mouse has the same stability. Here are some typing and mouse sounds. Also, I want to feature my iPad here, even just for a bit. And since the K380 can be connected to up to three devices, I can easily switch between my iPad and my Windows laptop by just using this switch buttons here. Now to do some customizations, you need to download the Logitech Options app. Simply Google Logitech Options and you will find the link direct to Logitech's website. Note that since the Pebble Mouse is what I call a minimalist mouse, so there are no customizations that can be done here. So only the K380 can be customized using Logitech options. As you see here, you only see the K380 device, but not the Pebble Mouse. If you're interested to see how you can customize the Pebble Mouse with an iPad, check out my other videos. I've linked it in the description box below. So let's see what we can customize on the K380 keyboard using the Logitech Options app. We can customize the four buttons, F4, F5, F6, and F7. For F4, I have set it as my home. 
This does not have some explanation on this app, but what it means is it will open up my home web page. Of course, this can be changed by clicking in more and you'll have tons of options you can choose from. You can even set it to none if you don't want it to do anything when you press on, the, on this button. So let me show you what I have set for the other keys. For F5, I have set it to do a set of keystroke action. I take a lot of screenshots, so by pressing this key, it will bring up my snipping tool and saves me a lot of clicks and some finger stretching. I can change it to other keystroke. Let's say I do it for control tab so I can switch browser easily, but it won't take combinations of letters only. It needs to be like the control keys or function keys plus some letters. Next for F6, I have set it to do a right click. Again, this keeps my hand on the keyboard to continuously typing, so if I have to cut or add hyperlinks, I can simply press an F6, then T or I to add a hyperlink. And for F7, I've set it to be as the back function, but let's find a good shortcut to use. So I'll set this instead to lock. So again, it saves me a few clicks and presses on the keyboard. So one press on the F7 and my laptop is locked. No need to do control, alt, delete and choose lock or start and L. Of course, I will not forget to show you guys some of my favorite keyboard shortcuts. I won't go into the detail of those copy, paste, cut, bold, but instead, here are the shortcuts that make me work or type faster. What I love using is the start key. Start key is my best friend. This lets me search for anything I want to open, whether it's a file, a web page, an app. And if you've watched my other videos, I like using the spotlight search on my iPad because it works very similar. Next are some of the shortcuts again that help me in multitasking. The start and the left and right arrow keys. This will help me put my current window on the left or the right side. Also, it can let me choose what I want to open on the other side. And now if I want more screens, I can also press on start and down, and this will minimize the window. And then I can have a third app that I can open. To maximize back the window, I can do start and the up key. Of course, using the mouse is also possible. I can drag a window to either the left and the right side, and it will minimize it and put it in half of the screen. And I can then click on what I want to open beside it. And if I want to make the window smaller or bigger, I can double click on the top of the screen. As for the keyboard shortcuts, when typing on Word document or email in Outlook or typing in Notepad, my main shortcuts are this. Function and the left and right arrow key is what will help me get to the beginning or end of a line. Add shift to it, so it will be shift, function, left or right arrow keys, and it will highlight the whole line. On the other hand, control and arrow will move the cursor one word at a time. Add shift to it, so it will be Shift, Control, and Arrow left and right, and it will highlight the word. 
Use this along with the formatting options like Control C, Control B, Control X to cut, and will make your typing and work, and you will work faster. If you are using non-English language when typing, you can switch by doing Alt and Shift. Of course, you need to add the language in your Windows settings first. Again, Start key is my best friend. I simply press Start, type language as a keyword, and it will show me related options or settings or documents related to this keyword. Now, moving on to shortcuts in a web browser. Again, these are simple shortcuts, but it really helped me to work a bit faster and helps me in my productivity. Control T is for opening a new tab in the same window. Control N is to open a totally new window. Now in a window with many tabs, I can do Control Tab to go and switch to the next tab or Control Shift and Tab to go to the previous tabs. The famous Control F, definitely you should be using it to find text within a page. Control Shift and O is the shortcut to show your favorites or your bookmarks. These are my favorite shortcuts that I use a lot when I work on my Windows laptop. Hope this video helps for those of you who are using the K380 and the Pebble Mouse on a Windows laptop. So that's it. Thanks for watching.